International Circus Festival of Ireland. This is our 17th year. We light up Tralee every November in an explosion of skill, of poetry, of beauty, and of uh, fun. The festival began initially a uh, space where anyone who was involved in circus or in juggling or in aerial or acrobatics, that they could come together and meet and you share that kind of camaraderie. We've come into the festival since 2011 and it's my favourite festival on the island. We get to perform for people that don't normally get to see this kind of thing. I teach a lot of uh, circus skills and performance. I work a lot with people with special needs. I work with the Alzheimer's societies, uh, kids at risk. Uh, we work with homeless charities as well. We kind of think that circus can benefit so many people in so many different ways. And it's active, physical, and fun. Our team is a small and dedicated and wonderful team. We have just taken on a new manager this year, Maura Janine, which is a fantastic benefit to the festival. We also have a producer, Kim McCafferty, and then we have a huge team of volunteers that help us out over the weekend. I've been producing, stroke running, stroke doing a bit of everything for the Circus Festival for five years. We have maybe two or 3,000 people coming over the course of four days, and we work together all year. So we're talking about it, and we're planning, and we're contacting artists, and we're going to see shows, and we're developing relationships with the schools and local businesses to try and get them on board to love it as much as we do. National Lottery funding has made a huge difference to our festival. When we started out, I organised the first festival on a payphone. So we really had no money, we had no sponsors, we had no partners. But now National Lottery funding allows us to go out and book the finest companies available in the world to come here to Tralee and perform for us. I'm Henrik, Henrik Gard, um, originally from Sweden. But I've been in, uh, in Ireland, in Dublin, for the last five years. I've been to festivals around Europe and Australia, and this is uh, high-class shows and acts, international acts, local acts, and it's, it's very well organised. The reason the festival is in Tralee is because it's my hometown. I, I was uh, the Rugogagastogak Mayansha. I was born and bred here. We get huge support from the town as well. I think it's very important to the town because it happens in November. So it gives the town a huge boost in terms of people visiting and staying and bed nights and coming and spending money in the town. And it also enriches the, the town culturally as well. I love it that it's accessible to everybody. In our shows over the weekend, we had 85-year-old grannies, we had two-year-old babies, we had loads of teenagers who were too cool for school and they still loved it. And it combines dance and theatre, comedy and tenderness and poetry. 